It's real shit. Bye, y'all. Anyway, and I think in the previous video, I was talking about perfecting my craft, I think. And I know one of the things that I know I have to do to perfect my craft, and that's concentrate on me and myself and my relationship with God and everything, is get back to this. It's a reference to Rugrats, if you, you, those of you who don't know. And so I bought my different pencils and my shaver, my eraser, and all of that, just so I can kind of get my mind off of, really get my mind off of certain things. Because um, i kind of been funky on and off, and I don't, I don't like these unexpected, funky episodes I have. And it's like, not funky like, not like that, because you know. I washed, but funky as far as the irritable feelings that I that just comes along unexpectedly, and I don't like it, you know, because I feel like I don't know when it's going to end, and it's like, what am I doing to keep myself there? You know what I mean? How am I going to get myself out of that? And sometimes I be having certain feelings and I don't like it, and I don't even know when it's going to end, you know, and I have to force it out like when I go take walks and I have to go listen to music or whatever it is I do do my hair watch something a scary movie and then I also need to do this I have to get back to drawing so what I wanted to do is show you guys what I've drawn so far and my sister was saying you should draw and time lapse it but I was thinking yeah so that you guys can see something from me that's new content but then I was thinking so many people draw on YouTube. So many people have drawings on YouTube. And somebody's going to say that my draw. You know, I just already started negatively talking about whatever. But um, I kind of like this. <laughs> anyway, but I'm going to show you guys what I've drawn so far anyway. <laughs> I might as well. I've had this book. I bought this book on April 6, 2018. And it is... July 26, 2019. So I had this book when I was in my first art class, the first part of my art class last spring. And so far, this is what I've drawn. And this is the Strathmore, this is the tone tan paper. And it really goes good. Like if you have a white charcoal pencil, it see, that's how drawing is supposed to look on this paper for those who don't know. So that's like, duh, you know. And that's where I want to get to. I want to get to that good. Drawing that good. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and start making my own cartoons. And Disney and Pixar is just one of my dreams. To do animation for them. Or be a part of the animation team for them. But I also can do my own on the side. My own cartoon. And start my own thing. And who knows. I'll have my own shorts. That may be on PBS or whatever like that. You know. So. Yeah. So some of the things that I've, I've drew. This is me. And I wish I could show you a picture of um, how I looked. Um, and I drew it like that. I had my phone, I drew it, and I was like, you know, this is me. I drew this. Okay. Now, of course, I don't look like that, you know, but I did, I, I did as close to me as I can. Yeah, because um, I th we had to do a self-portrait for our final. And I thought it was going to be on this paper. So I'm thinking, oh, I already got my head start. All I have to do is turn this in. But he was like, no, I think everybody needs to do charcoal on the bigger sheets of paper. So I was like. And I found myself getting upset. And I didn't really put no passion into that final. But I passed anyway. I passed the whole class with a B. So. Um, yeah, but that's me. I try to draw Roman Reigns. <laughs> don't, really, don't really look like him. It's like, his lips don't do that. <laughs> but I try to draw him the best way I can. You know. So, yeah. I think that's all I have so far. Let me see. Oh, I also drew this, too. And this was inspired by Raw Sushi. 
Okay, that's her name on Instagram, but I forgot her name. I think it's Christina Laurier, Laurier something like that. I watched her videos. This drawing was inspired by, I know her Instagram, her name is Raw Sushi. Raw Sushi. Raw Sushi. Yeah, Raw Sushi. This was inspired by her. So I had to give me a little cat with some Folox. <laughs> so that's, you know. But it was inspired by her. I wanted to try something different, you know, something that was going to say a lot about me. But this is definitely inspired by her. What made me just say, forget it, let me do a cat, is because I, um, and it's supposed to be a Siamese cat, I um, got frustrated over making the face because it was going to be a human. I was going to do some kind of portrait. And I got frustrated with the shape of the face and everything, which I still need to work with that. And I just said, forget it, this is like, like a cat head, so let me just draw a cat. You know, the shape of a diamond, you know. So I decided to draw a cat with four locks. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't really do the body, I haven't really got the body down packed yet. Um, and I drew this on June 15, 2018, which was last year. Wow. Her videos really help out a lot. And I mean, she got all kinds of stuff. Just watch her videos. And I started doing something. I think I'm going to finish it today. And I started doing something. As you can see, this is supposed to be a woman with her back turned to us. And that's her butt, the back of her legs. And that's her back. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish it today. Just because I don't want to leave anything half done. Because I always want to make sure that I complete things. That's going to be another one of my short term goals is whatever you start, complete it. So if your hair is like this, don't just braid the middle and go braid the whole thing, you know, because you're going to want to wear your hair down, but you can't because you got that beehive right there, whatever. And then if I don't leave drawings like this, I'm going to finish it. So if that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish it today and I may come back later on. Or if you guys follow me on my Instagram at It's Roche Ball, y'all, you guys can see the rest of the drawing. Um, but I think I may come back and show you guys the rest. Other than that, I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you guys know that I'm going to be back on my craft. And this is a part of perfecting my craft. Not just my relationship with God being stronger, taking care of myself inside and out, spending more time with family, getting myself together with school and work, and just me, concentrate on me, trying to get my hair and my skin together and my nails together, stop biting up my cubicles. So that's another thing I do when I'm stressed out or when I'm worried about something, I start biting up my cubicles. Because you guys see my fingers before, you know, as I'm holding this up, it looks like, not, I don't want to say vitiligo because that's wrong. But um, it's because I stress out and I bite my cubicles a lot, you know. When I get my nails done, I don't want to put my head on the table because they're going to say something. They go, let me see. So I, and they go, oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And I notice when I have my nails done, I don't bite my cubicles because when I'm biting them, I taste the nasty nail stuff. And I know that's gross, but I want to get back to taking care of me. Okay, and if whatever comes along, comes along. If it doesn't, I got to get back to taking care of me. And I got to be okay with it until something comes along. And I have to be okay with it if nothing doesn't come along. But drawing is another one of my outlets and perfecting my craft. If I want to be an animator, I should be drawing every day. I should be drawing every single day, even if it's on a little bitty piece of napkin. Whatever I draw, I'm going to post it. I got to be drawing every single day. There's no excuse. If you want to be a hairdresser, you got to do your. You probably can't do hair every day because carpal tunnel and you start getting your hands start cramping up. So I understand that, but you got to perfect your craft often. I see so many people that do hair and draw, like raw sushi, which is the woman I was talking about. She has nothing but an Instagram full of her art, and that's where I want to get to because this woman perfect her craft, and I got to get back to this. I got to get back to this. There's no excuse. So, um, this video may look a little funny because I have frozen parts at certain times. I just saw it. So, I'm just letting you guys know that this is one of my outlets. And my encouragement to us, myself as well, is let's get back to our crafts. Let's not stress over the little things and literally cry over spilled milk. Let's get back to working on us and start perfecting our craft. Okay? Because once we start getting into us, we ain't got time for nobody else. You understand? The only time you can disappoint yourself is if you give up on yourself. If you let yourself go, and if you don't believe in yourself, and you feel like you can't succeed, and if you quit. So that's how I'm going to go back to doing that drawing that I showed you guys. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. There's no excuse.
Because if somebody say, hey, um, because I don't want to go into this art class and the professor going to ask, has anybody been drawing anything over the summer or whatever? I want to be able to say yes. And if he says, let's see. And I want to be able to show them all the things that I've drawn. I'm going to finish this today. I'm going to do something. I may come back later and show you guys a little small video of my drawing. If not, please follow me on Instagram at It's Roche Ball, y'all. I'll probably leave the link well I can't do the link I don't know how to do that so I'll just put my name at the bottom and you guys can probably follow me so you guys can probably see it I'm going to finish it I have to okay it's no excuse no excuse so um I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work I just had to come here and just get this off my chest to tell you guys and to encourage y'all if there's something that you always wanted to do and you started it and you know it's a passion finish it that's it